wanted to do today is I just wanted to pick your brain and give you a couple of takeaways that you can use to implement in your business as well as in your life to get from where you are to the next level. from the millionaireseries.com and today you're in for a real treat. I'm here with Jules Price. Welcome Jules. This is such an amazing opportunity. I'm here in Hawaii and Jules is also at the same top producer meeting I'm at and I have followed Jules and known her now for probably about four years and one of the things that I love about Jules is literally everything she's done has turned into a jewel. I mean, she's an amazing singer, she's an amazing businesswoman, she's an amazing network marketer. And so what I wanted to do today is I just wanted to pick her brain and give you a couple of takeaways that you can use to implement in your business as well as in your life to get from where you are to the next level. So, the first thing I want to ask you, Jules, is what is one of the most important things you can share that people need to do to achieve the amazing success you've achieved? Um, well, it's, I think that one of the sort of core principles that I live by, and I guess it started when I was a very little girl and wanted to be on Broadway and, and sing, is that you, you have to have that sort of mindset and belief in yourself. And, you know, um, actually, Broadway is a really good analogy because you would never hear about someone moving to New York and, you know, going to a couple auditions and then saying, oh, well, I tried. Um, and unfortunately, that's what so many people do when they have a goal in business or in network marketing. and they just, you know, they know what they want or they think they know what they want and then they do a couple things and if they're not having immediate success, they often put on that, that, you know, either they're not good at it or it's not for them or they even, I think even worse, change their mind and pretend they, they don't want it. And in, in business, you know, when you, have a, when you have a goal and you see where you want to go, you have to do anything that you can to get there and whether that means picking yourself back up again and, and maybe trying a different tactic or you know continuing to have that vision in mind of where you're going and that belief in yourself. You know, when you're when you know that you have something to offer in performing, you keep going to auditions over and over and over again because you know it in yourself and you're just waiting you know, unfortunately you have to wait for someone else to see it to put you on that stage. In business you know, especially in network marketing, you don't have to wait for anyone to see it if you see it in yourself and you just keep going after what you want um, until you're achieving the results that you want. And luckily, you don't have, you, there's nobody that can hold you back from that except your, yourself and your own obstacles. Well, I want to ask you a question. So this is a little off the cuff, but where did you grow up? Um, I actually grew up outside of Washington, D.C. in the Maryland area. And then when did you decide, when, were you just always naturally talented as far as singing? I wanted to be a singer since I was a little kid. Um, Three years old, I would always get all the little choir solos, and I always said I wanted to uh, do opera, and I had these dreams of singing at the Met. Well, I pretty much, right when I went to school, I studied opera and musical theater, and then my first audition right out of uh, school, my first audition, well, I, I did a little bit of shows in the D.C. area, uh, professional, after I graduated, but my first New York audition was um, The Sound of Music na Broadway National Tour and I got the part of Maria and it was just one of those crazy things where then I toured for a year and a half all over the U.S. and Asia and moved to New York and then just never looked back. I just followed a, a musical theater career from there and never really went into the opera world. That is so exciting. I mean, I think a lot of us, you know, we might be top producers in our profession, but to do something like that, I mean, the odds of success are so slim. But I think what she's taken from that, which we can all take from that, is the reality that when we have a dream, and like what I loved about what she said is sometimes you have to change the tactic. And I think, let, let's talk about that for one minute, because I think a lot of times people think, well, this is how I'm going to do it, and they're not getting their desired result. But they don't, they're not changing that. So can you talk a little bit to that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you you have to find a balance. You don't want to be constantly, you know, flip-flopping around and, and trying everything. Uh, and you, you want to, if you have a, a proven system, let's say, if in a network marketing company, people that have, have a system that works, you want to follow that without reinventing the wheel. But I also truly believe that you have to be innovative, um, take initiative, and be resourceful. And if you just follow what everyone else is doing, you're never going to be a leader. 
and um, I believe that to be truly successful, you have to take a system, put your own personality, um, make it your own, um, have it come from the heart, or else people won't won't connect to what it is that you're sharing. And then you know, look for ways that you can go above and beyond. Because if you're if you only duplicate what other leaders do, um, you'll never be like the leaders that you admire. You'll just be, be a follower. So um, some of the biggest qualities I find are you know taking initiative for things and being resourceful when it comes to problem solving and um, finding different you know seeing what's working fine-tuning it refining it and um, and just getting the results that you want because you're practicing because you're consistent and because you're looking for ways to achieve um, you know achieve what you want to be achieving um, however that however you're able to do it so one of the things you talked about was like not giving up. So I mean, everyone has a bad day. Anyone that's become a top producer has good days and they have bad days. So what do you do when like things aren't going how you want them to go and you're just in that funk? Do you have some ideas of what gets you out of that, or do you even ever have bad days? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I'm a cheerful person, and everyone always jokes around that you know I'm the happiest person they know. But um, sometimes I think that you know. The, that's an even bigger challenge sometimes when, when people know you as someone that's always up because when you have those down days you don't even feel like you're allowed to have permission to feel that way and you know I find that with whatever it is that I'm doing you absolutely have to pick yourself back up in, in the performing world you know that was always you didn't have a choice you either stop you know if you didn't if you stop going to auditions you're gonna stop having even the opportunity to have jobs. Unfortunately, in network marketing, people's just activity just kind of trails off, but they're still expecting, they still think they're in the business and they're still expecting results. Well, if you're not putting yourself out there, just like if you're not auditioning, you're not gonna have results. So the best way you can ever get back to, you know, um, being in a, in a happy place again is by achieving success. And the best way you can do that is to up your activity instead of doing less. So whenever you're not where you wanna be, you have to do more, not less in order to get out of it. That's great advice. Well, all I can say is this is to be continued. This is Annette Bow from TheMillionaireSeries.com. I want to thank Jules so much. Amazing information. Every time I'm around Jules, I learn something. And so I hope you guys can take a couple of these tips away and really not just listen to them, but implement them. So thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much, Jules. Thanks, Annette. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.